Hello, it's Marcus. You might know me from, I've had past channels and all this kind of stuff, but none of them have really been what I wanted. So I decided to make one on just news. I'm just going to talk about news and how I feel about it. One of the stories that I looked up today was um, a baseball team in Tokyo, Japan, was playing a team in a regional game. And they go into the first inning, the pitcher goes out, they scored 14 runs in one inning. Or wait, 26 runs, I mean, in one inning. The second inning comes around, he's up to 250 pitches in one in two innings with another 40 runs in the second inning. The coach says that he wanted to um, forfeit the game after the second inning to save their health. I would have more assumed just forfeit the game from the beginning and save their mental health from being totally humiliated by a team in the second inning with one out, mind you, and it's 66 to nothing. And they're supposed to be a regional game, which aren't regional games supposed to be like the two best teams in the area and all that. But I would have kept him in the game from keeping him from going home and committing suicide because he just lost that game 66 to nothing. And then when they can end the game, they credited the team with nine to no a 9 to nothing win. That makes no sense to me. I don't know if anybody else heard, depending on where you are in the United States, but there was an earthquake in southeastern, I believe, Illinois. And seismologists are, are saying all this stuff about it and assuming all these things and saying all these things. Well, now another scientist came out today in um, St. Louis and saying that we don't know enough about these things to be assuming and telling everybody all these things. Well, you're a seismologist. I believe that you're supposed to know which faults and which everything is all connected and how big this one is and how dangerous they are. Saying I'm not really, we're not really sure if that's a sub fault of the New Madrid, which I don't know if anybody who don't know what the New Madrid fault is. That is a very huge fault that is expected when it goes off to register at like a not an 8.5 to about a 9.2. I think a 9.2, 9.3, something like that. And um, the earthquake that caused the tsunami, I believe, was like a 9.3, and it like sent the Earth to like rotate, like, uh, and it like sent it all off balance. But um. If they don't know much about it, we're not going to know when this thing is even going to happen. And personally, I like to know when my entire um, town, or what have you, is going to be torn apart, torn down. I just think they should probably know those kind of things. Another story this week was the, the, the debate. The debates. The Democratic debates have been going on and on, and they just keep firing and firing and firing back at each other. Well, this week, there's another shot fired. Clinton, President, Senator Clinton, accused Senator Obama about saying that John McCain would be better in office than any than people, and then everybody would be better than George Bush and all this stuff. Well... What he actually said was that both Democratic candidates would be better than John McCain, but all three candidates would be better than George W. Bush, which, I don't know, is that a good path to take? No one really likes George Bush right now. Is it? Is that a good path to take? I don't really know. But I personally, I'd rather be John McCain, be the guy not have to really fight anybody, and he's just coasting on through, and he'll be up for election and then go against the two people that basically everybody... I think doesn't like because they keep just firing back at each other. I don't really think they want our country ran like that. I don't know if that's what you want. I know I really don't want a president that fires back at everything anybody else says. They just keep firing and firing and firing. And President Clinton says since their last debate, Senator Obama has been all but ne everything. Everything is negative. Well. <laughs> Saying that everybody is better than the current president, well, I think that's probably a negative thing now, but a good thing at the same time, because no one really likes him right now. And I think everything will be better once any of them get in office, because George W. Bush is just... Yeah. And um, I'd say my question for the day is, do you think that Barack Obama's approach to those things, to... Um, this campaign saying that everyone would be better than George Bush, but both Democratic candidates would be better than John McCain. Personally, if I was him, I would have said that I would be better than the other Democratic candidate, but whatever. But my question today is, do you think that was a good path to take? Do you think that was, I guess, the correct approach? Either leave a comment down there, or a video response down there. All the links to all the stories are in the sidebar over there, and I will... 
Talk to you later. This is Marcus out.